you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be exalted. Ah, thank you for another beautiful night like tonight. Thank you, Lord God, because tonight is the night that the Lord has made, that we will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, ancient of days, for giving us life in abundance, O oh God, tonight. Thank you, Lord, for counting us among the living. Thank you, I am that I am. Thank you, Lily of the Valley. Thank you, bright and morning star. If not you on our side, O oh Lord, where would we have been? For many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord God delivered them all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be glorified. Thank you, O oh Lord, because tonight is another night. It is another night of testimony. It is another night of marching forward. It is another night, O oh God, of transformation. It is another night of singing a new song unto the Lord. Mm, may you be glorified tonight and forevermore. May you be lifted up tonight and forevermore. In the name of Jesus. Lord, come and touch your life tonight. Come and touch your life tonight. Come and touch your life tonight. In the victorious name of Jesus. I am that I am. Thank you because, oh God, a miracle, a miracle will happen to somebody tonight. In the victorious name of Jesus. Blessed be your name. Hallowed be your name. In the name of Jesus. The Lamb of Calvary, we bow down before your throne tonight to say, Igwe, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. For as many that will be present here tonight, their miracles shall not pass them by. Their healing shall not pass them by, O Lord. Their deliverance shall not pass them by. In the name of Jesus, is in healing you will heal somebody tonight. In deliverance, O oh God, you will deliver somebody tonight. Ah, in transformation, you will transform somebody tonight. In the victorious name of Jesus, thank you, O oh God. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. The Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Praise Him, hallelujah. Praise Him. invite your friends your family members 
as many groups you belong to tonight, hallelujah, please tell them to come to the platform tonight with a bottle of water. They should come tonight with a bottle of water because that water will be transformed tonight spiritually to the blood of Jesus. To the blood of Jesus. Invite the sick tonight. Invite the demon possessed tonight. For tonight is the night of the Lord. For tonight is our night of healing. It's our night of deliverance. It is our night of transformation. It is our night of change of level. It is our night of dancing with a style. Mm. Why not begin to invite tonight? Invite tonight if you love your friends, you love your family members, you love the groups you belong to, you are a lover of good things, you love humanity. I want you to invite tonight. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. May the name of the Lord be praised tonight. May the name of the Lord be glorified tonight. May the name of the Lord be exalted tonight. In the name of Jesus, may every works of our enemies be destroyed tonight. May every cancel of our heat of hell be brought to naught tonight. In the victorious name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, o Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh, glory, glory, glory to the Lord. Oh, glory, glory, glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hosanna. 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 Blessed be the name of our God. Hosanna. 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 Blessed be the name of our God, all oh, glory, all oh, glory, glory, glory to our God, all oh, glory, all oh, glory, glory, glory to our God, hallelujah, Hosanna. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed be the name of our God. Hosanna, 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 blessed be the name of our God. Glory be to Jesus. I greet you all tonight in the name of the Lord. Wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice, I say good evening, good morning, and good afternoon. Depends, depending on the country you are watching from right now, depending on the country you are watching from, I greet you in the name of the Lord tonight. I want you to know that the Lord is with us tonight in this platform. And unusual is going to happen to somebody present tonight in the name of Jesus. The unusual that is good is going to happen to somebody tonight that believe, that came with a heart of expectation, that came with faith, hallelujah, that came with a heart of repentance, that came with a heart of transformation, hallelujah. I tell you, the Lord will visit us in a, in a new dimension tonight. The Lord will speak to us tonight in the language he, we will understand in the victorious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We wanted to go on YouTube tonight, but something happened, something went wrong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We couldn't, but thank God, we are live in, in Facebook. Hallelujah. May the name of the Lord 
but praise tonight and forevermore. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, after tonight, the YouTube will be put in order. Glory be to Jesus, glory be to Jesus. I give the Lord praise tonight. I give him all the glory. What will happen tonight will still happen. Hallelujah, that miracle, that miracle that that man has been expecting. That miracle that that woman has been expecting. That miracle that that youth has been expecting will happen tonight. In the victorious name of Jesus. Sister Pat, I greet you in the name of the Lord. The Lord bless you up and down tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Brother Taye, God bless you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Brother Ali, God bless you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. So thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. I can't mention all the names, but I want to welcome you specially. I want you to know that God is going to bless you up and down tonight. In the victorious name of Jesus, I don't know if you came with your bottle of water. If you came with your water tonight, if you came with your water tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I tell you, as we pray on that water tonight, as we pray a prayer of faith that will heal the sick, that will deliver the demon possessed, the Lord, the Lord will do a miracle in our lives in the victorious name of Jesus. If tonight is your first night of joining this online prayers, you are welcome in the victorious name of Jesus. You didn't make a mistake by coming out tonight to pray. The Lord will meet you at the junction of your needs in the victorious name of Jesus Christ. This is Epot, interdenominational prayer platform of truth, where the truth is being said anytime, any day, in the victorious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please, this platform is not a church. It is not a church. It is a group of people that came together from all over the world, hallelujah, to stand the gap, to stand the gap for their family, to stand the gap for their home, to stand the gap for their church, to stand the gap for the sick and for the demon possessed. Glory to Jesus and please in this platform, we don't ask for money, we don't beg for money, we don't send account number to people to pay in money. This platform is not a, a platform of hustling, we don't hustle in this platform. Hallelujah. And money is not the reason why this group is being organized. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The platform is specially for prayers and salvation. It is specially for prayers and salvation. May the Lord bless you tonight in the victorious name of Jesus. And please, if you want to belong, if you want to belong, you are free. You are free. It is an open group. It is not a special group. It is not a special group. Hallelujah. Whereby you need to pay a special fee to belong. Or you need to take a special form. You need to pay to take a form to belong, to feel. No. It is an open group whereby you are free to come in at any time to pray. It is an online prayer group. Glory. It is not for special people. It is not for special people. It is for everybody. Glory be to Jesus. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. If tonight is your first night, I want you to know that you are in the right place at the right time with the right people and with the right God. You are with the right God tonight. And may that God do a miracle in our lives tonight in the victorious name of Jesus. May the Lord help us. We are here every day between the hours of 12 and 1. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. One more time, you welcome, you welcome in the name of Jesus. And please, if you've not subscribed in the Rita or Roberto YouTube channel, try and do so, try and do so. Hallelujah. Just write Rita or Roberto in your YouTube and then you subscribe and click the bell. Glory be to Jesus so you can watch a lot of, you know, videos with prayers and short exhortation. And I tell you, your spirit will be lifted up. Your spirit will be lifted up because in this platform, it's not about us. It's not about you. 
It's not about anybody. It's about Jesus. It's about Jesus. It is about Jesus. May the Lord help us tonight in the victorious name of Jesus. Please, if you have not shared, if you've not invited, please share and invite tonight. Share and invite. As you are waking somebody up tonight, please tell that person to hold a bottle of water. To hold water. Hallelujah. I, ha I have mine already. I have mine already because I believe by the special grace of God tonight, the Lord is going to by himself. He will by himself bless this water. I tell you, via the man and woman of God tonight, the Lord is going to be transforming, transforming this water into his blood, into his blood, into his blood. My faith is so strong tonight that mountains will be moved. Mountain will be moved by the reason of the power of God in this water tonight. In the victorious name of Jesus, there shall be lifting up. There shall be a lifting up tonight. There shall be a lifting up tonight. There shall be healings tonight. There shall be deliverance tonight. In the name of Jesus, levels, levels shall be changed tonight. <laughs> levels shall be changed tonight. In the name of Jesus, you will be surprised that after tonight, after tonight, what you have been long time expecting, as you drink this water after the prayers tonight, as you drink it as the, as the blood of Jesus with faith, uh, what you have been expecting, that phone call you have been expecting for a long time, you will receive it. You will receive it. I tell you, if your womb is hot, your womb is always hot. Your womb is always hot. I tell you, by the reason of the power of God upon this water tonight, your womb will be cool. It will be cool in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If, you, if your body has been hot, you have been having restlessness. Restlessness. You feel in your body whenever it's getting dark. Whenever it's decking, getting dark, you, 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 you know, you feel restless. You feel restless. It's as if, you know, they put fire inside your body. It's as if um, during the day you are okay. You are okay during the day. But once it's getting to 6, 7 in the evening, you begin to feel restlessness. Restlessness. You cannot sit down. You cannot relax. You know, you, you, you begin to feel nervous. You know, you don't even know what is wrong with you. Listen to me. As you drink the blood of Jesus Christ tonight, ah, I tell you, there shall be peace in your body. There shall be peace. Your body shall be relaxed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please, after, after the prayers on this water tonight, on this water tonight, I want you every day, every day to be adding it to the water you drink. Before the end of this year, hallelujah, don't finish everything once. I am saying it according to the instruction. Hallelujah, be adding it to the water you drink every day and be adding it to the water you use to bath. Hallelujah, before you take your bath, just add a little. Make sure it's enough for you till December 31st. Till December 31st, let me see that demo. That will say you will not cross over. Let me see that demon. That want to oppress you with one sickness or the other. Let me see that demon. That want to put tears in your eyes before the end of this year. Ah, Let me see that demon. That want to put you into problem before the end of this year. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Listen to me. Principalities and powers. They see the blood of Jesus and they bow. <laughs> because he is the head. He is the head of principalities and powers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Tonight is a special night. Tonight is a special night. Hallelujah. Let me tell you. Before the end of December 31st, blood will roll. Mm. Garments will be full of blood. Six feet as the grave will accept a lot of people. But you that is looking at me right now and me that is speaking to you right now, 
Ah, six feet is not going to be our portion at all. <laughs> because we are not true with our assignment yet. We are not true. So therefore, every evil arrow tonight from anywhere, from your family, from my family, from our father's side, from our mother's side, from the family we got married to, from the home we were brought up, mm, from the area we were living, and from the area we are living now, from the place of our work, from the place of our business, <laughs> any man, any woman, that want to throw something, something on the ground for you to match. <laughs> Tonight, by the reason of the anointing of God on those water that will be transformed to the blood of Jesus Christ, those arrows will go back to their senders in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Wherever you are tonight, please close your eyes. Close your eyes. If you have not invited, invite quickly. Invite. If you have not shared, please quickly share. Help somebody tonight. Save somebody tonight. It is better you save somebody tonight than for you to cry for that person. Than for you to cry for that person. Why not help that person tonight? Mm. Why not help that person tonight by inviting to be part of these prayers. To be part of tonight's prayers. To be part of tonight's blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why not invite somebody tonight? Invite. Invite as many you can. It is better you invite that person to pray tonight. Than for you to contribute your money to bury that person. It is better. 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 Wake that person up to come and pray tonight. Because you and I, we don't have money <laughs> to contribute for any barrier. None of our family members shall die in this season of celebration. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. None of them shall die in the name of Jesus. Lift up your holy hands tonight. Lift up your holy hands. Lift up your holy hands Hallelujah. Begin to worship the Lord. Exalt the name of Jesus. Exalt the name of Jesus. Exalt the name of Jesus. Just begin to wave your hands. Say, Lord, I appreciate you tonight. Lord, I appreciate you tonight. Lord, I appreciate you tonight. For your goodness, for your mercies, for your love, for your kindness. For making it possible for me to be present in the platform tonight. Begin to appreciate God. Begin to appreciate God. Listen to me. Our, appreci our appreciation tonight will move the Lord the more to do more tonight. To do more tonight. Why not say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for the life you give to me. Thank you for the life you give to my husband. For the life you give to my wife. For the life you give to my children. For the life you give to every member of my family. Why not say, Lord, I thank you. Why not say, Lord, I thank you. Appreciate the Lord tonight. Lift up the Lord, for he is the King of kings. He is the Lord of laws. He is the I am that I am. He is the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Why not lift up his name tonight? Why not appreciate him tonight? I thank him. Lord, I thank you tonight. I worship you for whom you are. I give you all, I give you all the glory. I give you all adoration. I bow down my head to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are worthy, O oh Lord, the Lamb of Calvary, to receive glory and adoration. You are worthy, O oh Lord, the Lamb of Calvary, to receive glory now and forevermore. You are worthy, O oh Lord, the Lamb of Calvary, to receive glory and adoration. You are worthy, O oh Lord, the Lamb of Calvary, to receive glory now and forevermore. Is somebody appreciating God tonight? Is somebody appreciating God tonight? A closed mouth is a closed destiny. Ah, you want to see the last day of this year? Hallelujah. Appreciate Him from January till date.
Mm. So that the grace will be given to you. So that the grace will be given to you to see the last day of this year. The last minute of this year. Is somebody ready to shout Happy New Year in few days time? Mm. Why not appreciate him tonight? So that he will give you the grace to shout Happy New Year. <laughs> Why not appreciate him? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you seeing yourself already with your spiritual eyes in the year 2020? <laughs> Are you seeing yourself already? Are you seeing yourself already? Why not appreciate him tonight so that the grace will be given to you to appreciate him in the year 2020? <laughs> Why not say Baba Imela? Salobua Uese. Why not say thank you, God? Why not say Oluwa Eshe? Why not appreciate him? Appreciate him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the life in abundance you have given to me and my family. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the remaining days of this year. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, oh God. In the name of Jesus, thank him for your going out and your coming in today. Thank him for the water you drank, the food you ate. Thank him for the ground you mashed. Thank came for the air you breathe in. Uh, if not the Lord on your side, where would you have been listening to me? A lot of people breathed the same air in today, but they died. They died. They died. Hallelujah. A lot of people ate the same food you ate. Hallelujah. The same food you ate. The same food you ate. They shouted, stomach, my stomach, my stomach. They were rushed to the hospital. But glory be to God, you ate the same food you are alive today. This is God in action. This is God in action. Listen to me. A lot of people drove today if the Lord should open your eyes and see a lot of accident that happened today, a lot of accident that happened today, some of us drove today and we came back home. This is not because we are experts in driving. It is because we are destined for a miracle. It is because we are destined to live. That is why we drove out today and we drove in. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Some of us went to work today. We came in in peace. Listen to me. A lot of day in the place of their working place. A lot of people fell down today. As they were walking, they fell down and they collapsed. Hallelujah. Ambulance came to carry them. But glory be to God for your life and for my life. That went to work today. We went to our business places today. And we came back home without falling in the places of our work. Somebody said, thank you, Jesus. Say, thank you, Jesus. Jesus, listen to me. A lot of children went out today. They went to school. They couldn't come back. A lot of children were kidnapped today. A lot of children had today. A lot of children fell in the, in the, in the feet today. Some broke their legs. Some broke their hands. But glory be to Jesus went out to school and brought them in and brought them back home. Ah, this is God. Is somebody praying and appreciating God tonight? Why not appreciate God? Why not appreciate God? Why not appreciate God? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the life of my children that went out and came in in peace. Thank you, oh God, for my life. Thank you, oh God, for the life of my husband. Thank you, oh God, for the life of every member of my family. In the name of Jesus, do you know a lot of people received evil news today. They received evil news as they receive it, as they receive it, they fainted. <laughs> a lot of parents, a lot of mothers died today. A lot of fathers died today. You woman, a lot of husband died today. A lot of women were turned to widows today. I tell you, Man, a lot of men died today. A lot of men died today. A lot of men died today. Listen to me, man. A lot of men, a lot of men, we are called widowers today. A lot of men, we are called widowers. Why not say, Lord, thank you for keeping my wife 
and life. Why not say, Lord, thank you for keeping my wife alive. You woman, a lot of a lot of men died today. Why not say, Lord, thank you for keeping my husband alive. For me not being a widow today. For me not being a widow today. For me not being it is God. It is God. It is not by our works of righteousness. It is Jesus that did it all. It is Jesus that did it all. It is Jesus that did it all. Ah. It's not by works of righteousness, but Jesus did it all. It's not by works of righteousness, but Jesus did it all. It's not by works of righteousness, but Jesus did it all. Oh, we are complete in Him. It's complete, complete in Him. Oh, we are complete in Him. Complete, complete, complete in Him. Oh, we are complete in Him. It's not by works of righteousness, but Jesus did it all. It's not by works of righteousness, but Jesus did it all. It's not by works of righteousness, but Jesus did it all. Oh, we are complete in Him. At this time, I want you to go to the mercy seat of Jesus. Go to the mercy seat of Jesus. Listen to me. Listen to me said tonight is a special night tonight is a night that the lord has made that you and i will rejoice and be glad in it listen to me tonight is a night for somebody for somebody tonight is that night you have been waiting for for a long time you have been waiting you have been waiting for such a night for such a divine visitation of the lord Tonight is the night. That is why you have to pray. You have to pray and ask for mercy at this time and ask for mercy. That wherever, wherever you have fallen short of the glory of the Lord, that the Lord will have mercy on you. That the Lord will have mercy on you. So that at the end of tonight's prayers, as this water will be blessed and be transformed spiritually into the blood of Jesus, as you drink it, as you use it for anything, hallelujah, it will work for you. It will work for you. You are going for any interview. You use this blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. This water you are saying in few minutes from now is going to be transformed into the blood of Jesus. You are going out for any interview. Use it to wash your face. Use it to wash your face. Our meow only wow. When a eye will see a eye, mercy, mercy, mercy will come. Favor will come in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you are sick. When you drink this water, you will be healed. That is why you have to go to the mercy seat of Jesus tonight. That the Lord will have mercy on you. That the Lord will wash you with his precious blood. With his precious blood. In the name of Jesus, our boldness shall be rolled away tonight. By the reason of the blood of Jesus, we shall be drinking from henceforth till the end of this year. In the name of Jesus, begin to say, Lord, have mercy on me. In any way I have fallen short of your glory, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. In the name of Jesus, put your two hands, put your two hands on your head tonight. Put your two hands on your head tonight. Say, oh God. I come to your mercy seat tonight. Wash me with your blood, oh God. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Wherever I have sinned against you, knowing or knowingly, oh God, have mercy on me. Oh God, have mercy on me. Oh God, have mercy on me. In the name of Jesus, listen to me, people of God. The prayer of a sinner is an abomination unto the Lord. The prayer of a sinner is an abomination unto the Lord. You might have sinned against him today through your words, through the way you spoke to somebody. You might have sinned against him today through your thoughts, through your thoughts, the thoughts you had towards somebody. The thoughts you had towards somebody. Ah, you might have sinned against him today through, through your looking, through your looking. You might have sinned against him. You might have sinned against him today through your dressing, through your dressing. You might have sinned against him. Say, Lord, have mercy. 
Have mercy, O oh God, so that my prayers will be answered tonight. So that my prayers will be answered tonight. So that my prayers will be answered tonight. In the name of Jesus, the book of Isaiah said, the Lord said, my hands, my hands are not shutting that I cannot reach to my people. He said, my eyes are not blind, that I cannot see what my children are passing through, what they are passing through. He said, but they are iniquity. They are iniquity have separated me from them. Say, oh God, wherever, wherever my iniquity has separated you from me, have mercy, O oh God. Have mercy, O oh God. Have mercy, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, O oh God, wherever any member of my family have fallen short of your glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In the name of Jesus. Liba shigadaba. Rebo sokoto lagada bari base yekete. Intaba shegede boria basandaya. Legede gede gede. Lord, I come to your mercy seat tonight. I come to your mercy seat tonight, oh God, to obtain mercy, to obtain mercy. Baba, have mercy on me. In any area I have fallen short of your glory, have mercy. That will make my prayers not be, to be answered tonight, Lord, have mercy. That will make, oh God, that will make, oh God, this water not to work for me tonight. Oh God, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In the victorious name of Jesus. In the victorious name of Jesus. At this time, begin to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Cover yourself tonight. Cover yourself tonight with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Cover your family with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Cover your vicinity with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Cover your area tonight with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Cover your work. Cover the place of your business. Cover your shops tonight with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Say, oh God, any evil arrow tonight coming through the social media. Say, oh God, back to your sender. In the name of Jesus, say, Lord, any evil arrow tonight, any evil arrow tonight coming, coming from any area, coming from my father's side, from my mother's side, from the family I got married to, back to your sender right now. In the name of Jesus, say, oh God, as they gather for my sake tonight, as they gather for the sake of my husband, for the sake of my wife tonight, as they gather, oh God, as they gather, oh God, as they gather, oh God, may they be scattered by fire, may they be scattered by fire, may they be scattered by fire, in the name of Jesus, begin to pray tonight, begin to pray tonight, begin to pray tonight, begin to pray tonight, in the name of Jesus, say, Lord, as they gather, they must scatter. As they gather, they must scatter. As they gather, they must scatter. By the reason of those prayers tonight, in the name of Jesus, begin to make a stop. Take a stop. Tell them tonight to stop. Tell them tonight to stop. To stop, to stop, to stop. Every meeting they shall be holding tonight. Put a stop to it. Put a stop to it. Put a stop to it. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, I put a stop to every skank up tonight. To every spiritual meeting tonight. I put a stop to it. Set confusion into their midst. Set confusion into their midst tonight. In the name of Jesus, say, Oh God, may they be confused and begin to fight themselves. May they be confused and begin to fight themselves in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, say, as they mention my name tonight, may the name of Jesus answer and create and set confusion into their midst. In the victorious name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Because no weapon fashioned against me tonight and forevermore shall prosper. And every evil tongue that have risen against me before tonight, that want to rise up against me after tonight, they shall be scattered by fire. They shall be destroyed by fire. In the victorious name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Tonight, you are still going to pray. Listen to me. It is not too late. It is not too late for you to become for you to become what the Lord wants you to be. Hallelujah. We still have days this year. We still have days this year. You can still become what the Lord wants you to be. Say, oh God. Oh God, I come before your presence tonight. Let me become what you want me to be. 
Lord, let me become what you want me to be. Listen to me. There are some of you, the Lord will still make a landlord this year. Some of you will still be laying foundation this year. Don't even ask me how it's going to happen. Don't ask me because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to happen. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord will give some of you the grace to still lay foundation this year. Listen to me. Listen to me. I didn't expect, I didn't expect that the Lord will be blessing me again this year. This year with a secondary school. Hallelujah. But last week, just last week here, the Lord blessed me with a secondary school. Laying a foundation of a secondary school. Listen to me. I didn't expect it. I thought this year is gone already. But the Lord still did it. The Lord still did it because it is my dream. It is my vision. Imagine few days before the year will go, the Lord still did what he wanted to do in my life this year. There are some of you that the Lord will still visit after tonight to be what he wants you to be. There are some of your heart desire. The Lord, the Lord will be given to you after tonight. The Lord will be giving to you after tonight what you have been yearning to have, what you have been begging the Lord to have. The Lord is still going to give it to you before the end of this year. Say, oh God, may my heart desire, may my heart desire be given to me. May my heart desire be given to me, oh God, in the name of Jesus before the end of this year. Say, oh God, give me my heart desire. Say, oh God. God, give me my heart desire. Say, oh God, give me my heart desire. Begin to confess at this time. Say, Lord, it is not too late. It is not too late. It is not too late, oh God, for you to do what you want to do in my life. It is not too late. Why not begin to confess it tonight? Say, oh God, it is not too late. It is not too late for you to do what you want to do in my life. Jesus, Jesus, come and do. Come and do what you want to do in my life. Come and do what you want to do in my life. Listen to me. Some of you believe in God for the fruit of the womb we're still taking this year. <laughs> You are going to cross into 2020 as a pregnant woman. Mm. You will still take in this year. It is not too late. It is not too late. Begin to tell yourself, say, Lord, it is not too late. It is not too late. It is not too late. It is not too late for the Lord to visit you, 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 that woman. Believing the Lord for the fruit of the womb. It is not too late for the Lord to visit you with a baby. <laughs> this year, this year. This year, as you step in, as you step in into January, you will step in. You will step in with pregnancy. You will step in with pregnancy. Ah. Listen to me. Listen to me. When your time will come, which is tonight, it's going to be a surprising thing to you. It will be a surprising thing to you. I tell you, I tell you, some of you will still lay foundation this year. Some of you will still be pregnant this year. Some of you will still get a better job this year. Some of you will still get a contract this year. Some of you will still be connected this year. Some of you will get a new ladder, a new ladder tonight. You that need a new ladder to climb higher. You want to climb higher. Ah, You want to climb higher. The Lord will be giving you a ladder tonight. A spiritual ladder for you to climb higher. For you to climb higher. Listen to me. After tonight, somebody. Somebody is going to come in contact. In contact with his destiny helper. You are coming in contact with your destiny helper. That destiny helper you have been looking for, that will make you to leave the level you are now to your next level. You are coming in contact with that man. You are coming in contact with that woman. In the name of Jesus, why not say, Lord, thank you because it is not too late. Begin to walk around in your sitting room, in your bedroom that you are right now. Say, Lord, it is not too late. 
it is not too late. It is not too late for you to make something out of me. It is not too late. It is not too late. The God that did it for me, six weeks before the year we roll away, will do it for you. He will do it for you. He will do it for you. He will do it for you. In the name of Jesus, he will do it for you. In the name of Jesus, begin to walk around and say, Lord, it is not too late. It is not too late. It is not too late. I will get my healing tonight. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Somebody will get a permanent healing. <laughs> you are getting your permanent healing. That there will be no need for you to worry. No need for you to worry anymore. You go to check up every month. You go to check up every three months. There will be no need for you to worry anymore. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Begin to say, Lord, it is not too late for my healing. It is not too late for my healing. You that is poor. Possess. You are possessed. Begin to say tonight. It is not too late. It is not too late for my deliverance. It is not too late for my deliverance. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It is not too late, oh God. It is not too late, oh God. The God of deliverance. Come and deliver me. Come and deliver me. Come and deliver me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Wave your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Wave your hands and say, thank you, Father. Say, thank you, El Shen of Days. Say, thank you, Lily of the Valley. Say, thank you, Bright and Morning Star. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. You're welcome back tonight. You are welcome back from the throne of grace. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I know some of you. Some of you have gone far already. Glory to Jesus spiritually. I know, I know, I know. Please come back. There is need for you to come back. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Please, if you have not invited, there is still time. Invite and tell that person to please hold a bottle of water. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. If you've not shared, please share. Glory to Jesus, glory to Jesus. I want us to know tonight that what we shall be doing here tonight is, is not an instruction from man. If it were to be a man that instructed, I will not do it. If it were to be a woman that instructed, we will not do it. Hallelujah. But because it is an instruction from heaven, that is why we are doing it. And I strongly believe, I strongly believe that results... I didn't say results. I said results. Results. A lot of results will be coming out of it. In the name of Jesus, I will be the number one. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord will give me results. Via those prayers tonight. Via those water that will be transformed into the blood of Jesus spiritually tonight. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will give you results. He will give us result. He will give us result. As many of us that are present tonight, as many, as many that are not able, that we are not able to be present tonight, but after the live video, they watch it. After the live broadcast, they watch it and hold their water with faith and pray along with faith. Ah, they are going to grab their own testimony. They will grab their miracle. In the victorious name of Jesus. In the victorious name of Jesus, please. I want you to know tonight, as I told you yesterday, and day before yesterday, don't put your faith on this water that will be prayed on tonight. This is just a water. This thing you are seeing here doesn't have any power. Hallelujah. It is after the power of Jesus. It is after the spirit of Jesus. It is after the anointing of Jesus has been released into it. It becomes powerful. It becomes powerful. This is just an ordinary water. Hallelujah. It becomes powerful after the prayers. So please don't put your trust on this water. This water on its own cannot help us. It cannot save us. It cannot do anything for us. It is the Lord that will do it for us. 
It is the spirit of the Lord. It is the spirit of the Lord that will do it for us. Listen, after tonight, you know, there was a power that quickened Jesus in the grave. You know, when Jesus went to the grave, he was there, the one. He was there, the two. The three. Jesus said, mm -mm, I can't remain here. I cannot be here. Here is not for me. I came on a mission. I am a man on a mission. And now is the day three. My mission is finished here in the grave. There is a need for me to ascend. There is a need for me to go back. The spirit of the Lord went straight into the grave and quickened Jesus and quickened him. Hallelujah. That was why the stones couldn't hold him. That was why the spirit of death couldn't hold Jesus. Because the spirit that went to the grave to quicken Jesus was stronger than the grave. The spirit that went to the grave to quicken Jesus was stronger than the spirit of death. The spirit that went to the grave to quicken Jesus was stronger than the stones. <laughs> that same spirit tonight, that same spirit tonight will quicken you, will quicken me via this water representing the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. After tonight, no power can stand against this water. The Lord will use this water for us as a healing tool. In the name of Jesus, he will use it for us. He will use it for us. We are so ever we are believing God for healing in our body. Whatsoever we are believing God for. The Lord, that same power, that same spirit that quickened Jesus will quicken that miracle to come. In the name of Jesus. So, please, I want you to stir up your faith tonight. Stir up your faith. My faith is very high. My faith is very high. Please, I want your faith to be high. I want your faith to be high tonight. In the name of Jesus, so that the Lord will perfect. The Lord will perfect that which consigned you. In the name of Jesus. I am not telling you to come and pay. To come and pay. Freely we receive, freely we give. Hallelujah. It is free of charge. What we are getting tonight from the Lord is free of charge. Our healings from the Lord tonight is free of charge. The fruit of the womb from the Lord tonight is free of charge. Our miracles tonight will be free of charge. The long life and prosperity, the Lord will be assuring us tonight, will be free of charge. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If you have not received Jesus, please, before we go into the blessing of the water tonight, I want you to quickly receive Jesus. Quickly receive Jesus. Quickly receive Jesus. You cannot reap where you didn't sow. Hallelujah. There is no way. It doesn't work like that. You cannot be working for the devil and be expecting a miracle from God. It doesn't work like that. Hallelujah. That is the mistake a lot of Christians are making. It's a very big mistake. Don't serve the devil. Don't work for the devil indirectly. Indirectly. And expect a miracle from the Lord. Mm, why not begin to repent tonight? If you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. If you are not serving the Lord in spirit and in truth. If you are still one leg in the church. And the other leg outside the church. Why not say, oh God. Tonight, I put my two legs in the church. I put my two legs in the church. I put my two legs in the church. You cannot be a Christian, a married man. You are a married man. You have a wife at home. And you have a girlfriend in the place of your business. You have a girlfriend in your work. Hallelujah. That is one leg in the church and one leg outside. And you go to church on Sunday. You are even a worker in your church. Why not say, Lord, I put my two legs in the church tonight. Mm, I put my two legs in the church. I will worship you completely tonight and after tonight. 
Why not begin to repent of your sin tonight? You are a married woman. Married woman, you still have a man friend. You still have a boyfriend. Hallelujah. Outside your husband. And you are a worker in your church. Why not say, oh God, I repent of my sin tonight. I repent of my sin tonight. You are a man. You are a woman present here right now. You use Bible to, to cheat. Instead of writing 1,000, you write 10,000. You write 100,000 in that check. You tell that person, once it works, come and give me my and give me my share. You change figure. You change figure with your Bible. Listen to me. There is no big sin and there is no small sin. Sin is sin. Why not repent of it tonight? Why not repent of it tonight and say, Oh God, I give my life completely to you. You are a prostitute. You still go to the junction to look for customer. You have two, three, four boyfriends. Why not begin to repent tonight? And say, oh God, I repent of my sin. I repent of my sin. You are a killer. You are a killer. Why not begin to repent of your sin tonight so that the Lord will have mercy on you? Why not say, oh God, I repent of my sin tonight. I repent of my sin tonight so that the Lord will have mercy on you. And your prayers tonight will be answered by the Lord. And whenever you use his blood, whenever you use the blood, it will work for you. It will work for you. Why not repent tonight? You still drink. You still drink. You say it is just a bottle. Listen to me as a child of God that is washed in his blood. Whether you are a man, you are a woman. Alcohol is forbidden. Beer is forbidden. Be it small stout or big stout. Don't even say for my stomach's sake. Forget it. There are other things you can take for your stomach sake. It must not be small stout or big stout. Any kind of alcohol. Any wine that has alcohol. <clears throat> As a child of God, you are not permitted. <clears throat> I am not permitted to drink it. If you still drink, forget about I am not always drunk now. I don't fall into the gutter. You are not ready for the kingdom of God and you are not ready for a miracle if you refuse to repent tonight. Why not say, Lord, I repent. I repent of my drunkenness tonight. I will not drink anymore. Listen to me as a child of God that is ready to be rapturable. You are not supposed to touch, to touch a beer bottle. Talk less of testing it. Talk less of testing it. It is forbidden. Give strong wine to those that are ready to perish. Don't touch, talk less of drinking or testing. If you still drink, you are hearing the sound of my voice. Why not repent tonight and say, Lord, have mercy. Once you finish drinking, you put tom tom in your mouth because you know your wife, your husband will make problem with you. You put tom tom, tom tom. You eat bitter cola and tom tom so that nobody will hear the odor. But Jesus is hearing the odor. Jesus is hearing the odor. As you were drinking it, Jesus was seeing you. Your wife might not see you. Your husband might not see you. Your friend, your pastor might not see you. But Jesus is seeing you. Hallelujah. Repent tonight. Repent tonight. You smoke. You smoke. Repent tonight and say, Lord, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Before we go into the blessing of the water tonight, begin to repent of the different sin. You dress anyhow. You dress anyhow. You expose your breast. You expose your stomach, you expose your bum bum for men to see. You know that you are falling a lot of men. You are falling a lot of men because of your dressing. You are falling a lot of boys because of your dressing. Still, you keep dressing like that. You keep dressing like that because you know what you are doing. Why not begin to beg the Lord for mercy tonight? Say, Lord, have mercy. Repent tonight of that sin. Repent tonight of that sin. You are a married woman. You are a young girl. You are not supposed to dress and open your body for other men to see. Listen to me. There are some faithful brothers that want to serve God faithfully. But because of you, they cannot serve God faithfully. Because you will wear that trouser that will show your private parts. That will show your laps. That will show your bum bum so tight. So tight. So tight. He cannot concentrate. He cannot concentrate. And finally, you will fall him. At times, he doesn't sleep with you physically, but he sleeps with you spiritually.
it you with his mind. As he's seeing that shape, he will be visualizing. He will be visualizing. He will be sexing you with his brain. And by so doing, he cannot serve God well. Sister, begin to pray for repentance tonight. Pray for repentance tonight. You need deliverance. You need the hand of God. You need Jesus to save you tonight. You know what I am talking about. Pray tonight. Say, oh God, I repent of this sin tonight. I repent of this sin. I repent of this sin. Repent tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Wherever you are tonight, you want to repent. Surrender all to Jesus. I want to pray with you, Father. I thank you. I worship you. I exalt your name for as many that have given their lives to you right now. Ancient of days, I pray, O oh God, that you have mercy on them and erase their name from the book of death and write it in the book of life. Give them the grace to continue in this new decision. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Pick up your water. Pick up your water wherever you are. Pick up your water. Pick up your water. Pick up your water. First, lift up your right hand, please, to heaven. I want to cover those hands right now with the blood of Jesus. I want to cover them with the blood of Jesus. I want to cover them with the blood of Jesus. Father, I thank you for every hands that are lifted up right now. I cover the hands, oh God, with the blood of Jesus. I purify these hands, oh God, with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, oh God, because as we use this right hand to hold this water, oh God, every prayer that will be prayed, oh King of glory, on this water, oh God, may it work in the name of Jesus. If there is any hand that have sought blood today, that have committed the sin of sharing blood, if there be any hand that have committed sin today, oh God, I wash that hand with the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Lift up your water right now to heaven. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Blessed be your holy name, Mali Bashigada. Rebada gazege de lebo shiga rabada basege gigada bashiga intalega bashiga bare geziga laba mandabo intagiba gegela gasa koluko boshuga ligabasi intabo godiga bashiaga barege de posohi mindaba gazege de gere bori bashiga bashia. Manda bagaraga borogozi intabazi kata lege debo manda boko lika intabozogo ligedi laga bashe yekasi indaboko zogo li giga galabosi kabari bo ni giga galagika minda bagolobo kali bushokoli bosohi Linda baka liborogo bozo kalabashi gede minda gada gada bori bozo godo boshia. Jesus, Jesus, I call on you tonight. Jesus, I call on you tonight. Jesus, I call on you tonight. Jesus, I call on you tonight to bless this water in the name of Jesus. Bless this water, oh God. Bless this water, oh God. Bless this water, oh God. In the hand of every man present right now. In the hand of every woman right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I release your blessing into this water. I release your blessing into this water. I release your blessing into this water. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, ancient of days. I transform this water right now spiritually to become the blood of Jesus Christ. Mm. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. May this water be transformed right now. Into your blood, into your blood, into your blood, into your blood, in the name of Jesus. By the authority invested in me, water, I command you to become the blood of Jesus Christ. Any man, any woman that will drink you tonight, any man, any woman that will drink you after tonight, they drink the blood of Jesus Christ. 
any man, any woman that will add you to the water to take bath tonight till the end of this year. They bathe with the blood of Jesus Christ. They bathe with the blood of Jesus Christ. As the spirit of death will see us, oh God, that spirit will pass by. In the name of Jesus, you water, you water, you water, become the blood of Jesus Christ. Wherever you will be used, wherever you, be, you will be used, uh, may you work for the owner. May you work for the person using it. In the name of Jesus, may no evil power be able to spoil you. May no evil power be able to spoil this water. May no evil power be able to spoil this water. In the name of Jesus, after those prayers tonight, any witch, any wizard that want to come and pollute this water, for it not to work for you, for it not to work for you, Holy Ghost fire, 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 in the name of Jesus, you water, I speak healing to you. I speak healing to you tonight. Become a water of healing. As the sick will drink you, they will receive their healing. As the sick will drink you, they will receive their healing. As the demon possessed will drink you, they will receive their deliverance. They will receive their deliverance. In the name of Jesus, any man, any woman driving, that will sprinkle you round his vehicle, that will sprinkle you round her vehicle, I declare that vehicle accident free. I declare that vehicle accident free. I declare that vehicle accident free. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that vehicle free from every night man, every night woman, never to drive you. In the name of Jesus, you water, you shall scare demons. You shall scare demons. You shall scare demons. You shall scare demons. In the name of Jesus, any man, any woman that will use you water to sprinkle in his apartment, in her apartment, in her compound, in the name of Jesus, may you scare evil. May you stand to torment. May you stand to torment any spiritual man, any satanic woman in that house, in that compound, in that area, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, may the water in your hand torment your enemies. May the water in your hands torment your enemies. In the name of Jesus, as you use this water, as you use this water, it shall work for you. Because as you use it, you are using the blood of Jesus Christ. You are using the blood of Jesus Christ. You are using the blood of Jesus Christ. May it work for you. May it work for you. In the name of Jesus, as you add this water to cook, as you add this water to cook every day, as you add this water to the water you drink every day, I speak healings to your bones. I speak healings to every part of your body. I say receive healing. Receive healing. Receive healing. May the blind see. May the lame walk. May the dumb speak. May the deaf hear. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak coolness into your womb. I speak coolness into your womb. As you cook with this water, as you drink this water, in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit, I speak healing in your body. I speak healing in your stomach. Healing in your stomach. Every moving object in your body. Every moving object in your body, every needle, the kingdom of darkness used to shook you in any part of your body. Once these pains come, it looks like a million of needle shooking you. As you drink this water in the name of Jesus, receive the healing of God, receive the deliverance of God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, 
water, I speak favor to you. I speak favor to you. Any man, any woman going for interview, any man, any woman, any youth going for an examination, going to write exam, as they drink out of this water, as they use this water to wash their face, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, favor will come. Retentive memory will come for the student. Spirit of remembrance fall on this water right now. In the name of Jesus, those of you that have questions, you have interview to go that questions will be asked. May the Lord, may the Lord, may the Lord, may the Lord give you wisdom via his blood, via his blood to be able to answer questions and pass the interview. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, as this water will be used before interview to get document, to get document, either visa, either passport, whatsoever document, either to sign a new work agreement, in the name of Jesus, use as you use your water may you find favor may you get your visa may you get your passport in the name of Jesus may you get your document may you get your resident permit in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus no man will spoil your water no woman will spoil your water in the victorious name of Jesus, as you use this water to sprinkle in the place of your business, to sprinkle in your shop, you sprinkle it in your shop, you sprinkle it in your shop, you sprinkle it in your office. Ah, every evil man, evil woman, every market they come to hold in your shop in the night after you lock up by the reason of the blood of Jesus in this water, in the name of the Lord that your shop shall be hot for them. They will no more be able to hold meeting in your shop anymore. They will not buy and sell in your shop anymore. After you lock your shop, no man will come and trade after you. No woman will come and trade after you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, may this water scare them. May this water scare them in the name of Jesus. I release the spirit of attraction attraction of customers into this water. You owner of the shop that will sprinkle this water in the morning, first day in the morning as you step into your shop. May this water attract customers. May this water attract customers. May this water attract customers. Sales, 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 sales. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, as you use this water by drinking it, by bathing with it, by sprinkling it in your house, by sprinkling it in your office, in the place of your work, in the place of your the spirit of death see you and run as you sprinkle it in your in your vehicle. May the spirit of death see you and run. May the spirit of accident see you and run. In the name of Jesus, as you use this water, you sprinkle it in your apartment. When evil want to happen in your apartment, may this water push you away. May this water push you away in the name of Jesus. When you are outside, by the reason of this water in your body, you have drunk before you went out. When evil is outside, may this water bring you in. May the blood of Jesus bring you in. May you come in. May you come in. May you come in. In the name of Jesus, as you drink this water every day, as we drink this water every day, we have the life of Jesus Christ. We have the life of Jesus Christ. Christ. We have the life of Jesus Christ. We have the life of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we shall not die, but we will live to declare the goodness of the Lord. We shall not die, but we will live to declare the goodness of the Lord. We shall cross over. We shall cross over. We shall, we shall cross over in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Begin to wave your hands right now. Begin to wave your hands to Jesus. Begin to wave your hands to Jesus. Appreciate the Lord. Appreciate the Lord. Appreciate the Lord tonight. Appreciate the Lord tonight. Appreciate the Lord tonight. Appreciate the Lord. Appreciate the Lord tonight. 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, appreciate the Lord. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. I am the Lord, 
you to know that Jesus is going to make a way for you. He's the God Almighty that he led thee. He sent forth his word and the word he led thee. The word he led thee tonight. I want you to key in tonight with your faith. Key in into the word of the living God. He sent forth the word according to Psalm 107 verse 20. The word he led thee and save thee from all manners of destruction. I want you to key into that word tonight because God is going to heal you from every ailment. He's going to heal you from every diseases. He's going to deliver you from every kind of bondage and problems. The yoke is going to be broken tonight. Whether the devil likes it or not, whether principalities likes it or not, whether the ancestral hold of your father's house like it or not, whether the forces coming from your marriage likes it or not, whether the powers coming from your father's house, your mother's house, they like it or not, God is going to break those yokes tonight. The Bible says you shall be free. He came to die that you might be free. According to the word in the book of Matthew, John 3, verse 17, he said, He sent for the word as Jesus Christ, not to condemn the word, but that him, through him, you might be delivered, you might be saved. He sent his word not to condemn his, this word. He sent his son, Jesus Christ, that you might not be condemned, that I might not be condemned. That through him, your life will be delivered. Your life will be freed. He said, for there is therefore no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Romans 8 verse 1. For there is therefore no condemnation. Listen to me, you have given your life to Jesus. I want you to know that every condemnation that the devil is trying to paint in your heart, that the devil is trying to present before you as a picture, i like you to know that Jesus has redeemed you. Do not crucify yourself. Do not condemn yourself. If you cannot condemn yourself, the devil can never condemn you. i like you tonight begin to see the hand of mercy. Begin to see the hand of mercy resting upon you. Begin to see the mighty hands of Jehovah bringing solution into your life tonight. I tell you tonight, there is power that breaks yokes. There are forces and there is a force that is greater than forces. Tonight, the Bible says Jesus is the head of all principalities and powers. He has the power to break yokes. He has the power to stop powers. He has the power to subdue powers. He has the power to hold bound and to hold back the forces of evil. Tonight, I want you to know tonight that tonight is your liberation night. Tonight is your power night. Your night has come, the night of freedom, the night of liberation. The light has come into your home. The Bible says, let there be light, and there was light. Jesus is the light of the world today. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. And the Bible said, this is the light that lighted every part of every man. Every man 
The light that lighted their path is Jesus Christ. And so tonight, I bring you good news. I bring you the good tidings of our Lord Jesus Christ tonight, that your life shall never remain the same. Hallelujah. We are prayed tonight, and I want you to key into those prayers. Jesus is set to do a new thing. He said, Behold, I will do a new thing. According to Isaiah 43, he said, Behold, I will do a new thing. Shall ye not know it? I will do a new thing. Because I am the God that maketh water, that causeth river to spring forth in the wilderness. Listen to me. If God said in his spoken word that he will do a new thing, then definitely, for sure, he will certainly do a new thing in our lives tonight. Hallelujah. I'd like you to confess these words after me. According to the book of Psalm 34, verse 10, the Bible said, The young lion do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Hallelujah. Psalm 34, verse 10. Psalm 34, verse 10. It said, The young lion do lack. The young lion do lack and suffer hunger, but they that Ask, they that seek, they that put their trust in shall never want any good thing. Tonight you are going to say, Lord, I prophesy into my life tonight. I prophesy into my life tonight. As I use this water tonight, may I not lack. 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 In life, in the name of Jesus, do the young lion do lack. They suffer hunger because they are young. But tonight, because I put my trust in you, Jehovah, may I not lack. May I not suffer hunger. As I use this water, let my doors be open. Let my ways be open. Lord Jehovah, whatsoever my parents suffered, whatsoever my parents went through in life, Lord, I shall not go through them. In the name of Jesus, as I use this water tonight, I decree and I declare that the sufferings my parents went through, the torture they went through, the pains they experienced in their life, the agony that they experienced in their life, I shall not suffer it. I will not pass through it. Is it sickness that tortured my parents? I will not pass through it. Is it pains that tortured my parents? I will not pass through it. Is it hunger that they experience? I will not go through it. They do lack. The young lion do lack. They suffer hunger. Listen to me. The Bible says you are like your father, the lion of the tribe of Judah. You shall not lack. You shall not experience evil. The battle your father couldn't conquer. You shall not fight it. You will not battle with any sickness. You will not battle with any pain. You will not battle with any life experience of bitterness. In the name of Jesus, I have come in the volume of the book. As a prophet tonight, I speak into your life that what trouble at your father, what trouble at your father's house shall not trouble your own house. In the name of Jesus, you have been married. You have a house now. Whatsoever pain your father's house experience tonight, this water stands as a painkiller. This Amen. water as the blood of Jesus Amen. stands as a painkiller. It shall kill every pain Amen. in your marriage. Amen. It shall kill every pain Amen. in your body. Amen. It shall kill every pain Amen. in your home. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Amen. tonight is a night of grace. Amen. It's a night of mercy. Amen. It's a night of love. Amen. The love of Jesus Christ, Amen. the grace of Jesus Christ, Amen. the mercy of Jesus Christ. As you apply this water by faith, water has no color. Water has no color. May your life never be polluted. In the name of Jesus, pollution of life, spiritual pollution, physical pollution, head otherwise pollution, your blood pollution, may they be purified. May they be purified. In the name of Jesus, except you are born of the water, of the spirit, and of the blood. You shall not partake of the kingdom. That is what Jesus said. Tonight, because you are partaking from this holy communion, which is the blood of Jesus, the water that will be transformed into the blood of Jesus, you will partake of his blood, you will partake of his water, and you will partake of his flesh, 
you partake of everything that has to do with Jesus Christ. Tonight is your night. Tonight is your outstanding night of testimony in the name of Jesus. Let's see another scripture. We are prophesying and praying tonight with the scripture tonight. Listen to me. The Bible says the scripture can never be broken because he sent for the word and the word will never return unto him forward. Listen to me. He said, I will honor my word more than my name. I will honor my word more than my name. So we are reminding him of his word tonight. We are prophesying with his word tonight. We are praying with his word tonight. There is power in the spoken word. There is power in the spoken word. There is power. I call it the way. I call it the Rema and the Logos. I call it the Rema and the Logos. The Rema and the Logos is what we are using tonight. And because we are using it tonight, any death in your life must resurrect in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. The Bible says in Psalm 75, verse 6, Psalm 75, verse 6, it says, For promotion, for promotion come neither from the east nor from the west, nor from the south. From the, not from the east, but it coming from above. Listen to me. Your promotion, wherever it has been hanged, wherever it has been locked, wherever it has been hijacked, I command it to be released unto you tonight. In the name of Jesus, as you take from this water, as you bathe with this water, wherever your promotion has been seized, whosoever that sat on your promotion, whosoever that has stolen your promotion, they shall pay with their blood if they fail to release it tonight. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, He that have a stiff neck, their neck shall be broken. Because of your promotion, that the devil, that the enemy has hijacked tonight, whosoever the enemies are using to hijack your promotion, to sit on your promotion as your glory tonight, except they repent. If they fail to repent, they shall pay with their neck. They shall pay with their head. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit. Because promotion coming from the Lord. He is the one that giveth it freely, liberally. He doesn't hold it back. Tonight, he said, I have the thought, and I know the thought. I believe in the thought that I have towards you. They are the thought of good and not of evil, to bring you unto an expected end. So if Jesus, God the Father, the Holy Spirit, has a good thought concerning you, any man, any woman that want to change the thought of God concerning your life, that want to delay the thoughts of God concerning your home and your family, tonight, if they refuse to release it, they shall pay with their life. They shall pay with their blood. They shall pay with their neck. In the name of Jesus. Let's see what another place, what the Bible is telling us concerning the prophetic uh, atmosphere tonight. The Bible says in Psalm 113, verse 7 and 8. Psalm 113, verse 7 and 8. It said, Who is like unto the Lord our God? Who is like unto our Lord our God? Who dwelleth on high, he raised up the poor out of the dust, and lifted the needy out of the dung hill, that he may sit him with princes, even with the princes of his people. Listen to me. I want you to look at that word again. It's the Bible is speaking about your situation. He's speaking about your setback. He's speaking about your demotion. He's speaking about your retrogression and stagnation in life. He said, who is like unto our Lord, our God. Psalm 113, verse 7 and 8. Who is like unto our Lord, our God, who dwelleth on high. He raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted the needy out of the dung hill, that he may be seated with the princes, and he will reign with the princes in his place, uh, with the people. Tonight, wherever you have been, wherever you have been deployed, you have been stagnated, you have been relegated, wherever the enemy has relegated you to zero level, tonight you are rising up. As you apply this water, you are rising up. May the spirit of poverty die in your family. May the spirit of poverty, lack of want, setback, die tonight. As you apply the water, as you use the water, may the spirit of lack and want die. May the spirit of struggle in your life die. 
What is that project that you have started? What is that project that you have laid down? And you have been struggling with it. You have been struggling. Brother, sister, you have been struggling. Is it a house project? Is it a project? Is it a business? Is it a venture that you want to go into? You have been struggling for years, for months, to complete the house. You have laid foundation. You have been raising it. You cannot roof it. You cannot complete it tonight. The doors are open. The doors are open for you to complete that project. In the name of Jesus, your doors are open. Your doors are open. Your doors are open. Your doors are open. In the name of Jesus. The reason why we said you should take the water tonight to pray with the water is this. That any mark of the enemy, that the enemy has marked you with, anything they have placed on your body as a mark of trust to monitor you, to follow you, anything they have poured on you that will change the smell of your life, so that will change the smell of your life. Tonight, let me tell you something. There was a lady that came to me or that came to the presence of God for prayers. This lady had been believing God to get married. And no man has ever told her, I want to marry you. They always tell her, let's be friends. After we friend ourselves for some time, probably it leads into marriage. No one has ever told her, I want to marry you just for friendship. And anytime this girl or this lady asks the man, why can't we get married now? You see, unnecessary quarrel picks up or starts, and then you see the marriage or the relationship destroyed. Not knowing that this lady was poured with a spiritual odor, mm. was given a spiritual odor in the realms of the spirit. That anytime she talks about marriage, the odor starts hoozing out. The whole door starts smelling, and the people, the men begin, begin to run away from her until the yoke was broken. Listen to me. They have given her the spirit of a he goat. You know a he goat? A he goat smells around. Anytime her luck wants to shine, the odor will come out. Anytime she wants to get her breakthrough, the the odor of a he goat tonight that is why by faith this water has been given out by the lord jesus christ by faith that any spiritual odor that you don't know about that you don't know about that have been placed upon you that anytime good thing want to happen to you the spiritual odor emerge the spiritual odor begins Tonight, as you apply this water to bed, as you drink this water, any spiritual odor that you don't know about, they shall be destroyed. They shall be met away. They shall be washed away. May the perfume, the perfume that the blood of Jesus carries, may it begin to rub on you tonight. May it begin to rub on you tonight. I am giving you a life testimony. Listen to me. There is nothing the blood of Jesus cannot do. He said... There is power in his blood, for they shall overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. Listen to me. He loved not his life, but he laid it down for you and I. Tonight, tonight, every spiritual order that the enemy has given to you unknowingly that you don't even know about, you begin to wonder what is happening around me. Listen to me tonight. That odor is disappearing. That odor is forby. That odor, the Duchess will say forby. That odor is finished in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13 and verse 19. The Bible says Philippians 4, Philippians chapter 4, verse 13 and 19. He said, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. But my God, verse 19 says, For my God shall do shall supply all my need according to the riches in Christ's glory. What are your needs tonight? What are your needs? Are your needs among the childbearing bearing of children? You have not been able to take in. You have never been able to take in. Listen to me. There was a woman like that that came for prayers. She has never taken in before. She has never. She got married for almost eight years. Even right from her, her, her spinsterhood, 
she has never been able to take it, not to talk of committing abortion. The, the men will sleep with her, come into her, but she can never take it. Because why? There was a spiritual net that was used to block her service lane. Listen to me tonight, no matter what, no matter what, no matter what you have experienced in your marriage, you have been finding it difficult to take in. Tonight, I don't care what the doctor has called it. I don't care what the doctor has concluded with. And they be giving you pills upon pills. They have been giving you medications upon medication, prescription upon prescription, reference to reference, referring you to different gynecologists, referring you to different doctors for them to check you, for them to treat you. You have done all medically possible that any man has to do. You have done it. And yet, all of this prove abductive. But tonight, I am glad to tell you, Jesus is in the house. Jesus is in the house. The kingdom, the, the, the child giver, the, the body bearer, he wants to give you those children. Tonight, as you use this water by faith, your wombs are open. Your wombs are open. Your fallibian tubes are open and washed in the name of Jesus. Your fallibian tubes are a clean in the name of Jesus. I don't know the kind of sickness that is in your body that is flowing within you that you find out your body will be hot. Ah, every month you always fall sick. There is no much you don't fall sick. My sister, my brother, that is the hand of the evil one. That is the hand of the wicked one. Every month you fall sick. But tonight, the solution has come, which is the blood of Jesus in this water. As you apply it by faith, that sickness is dead. That sickness is dried up from the root in the name of Jesus Christ. Lastly, we are going to look at a place tonight. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 6, verse 17. Galatians chapter 6, verse 17. It said, from henceforth, let no man trouble me. Let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. Galatians chapter 6. Galatians chapter 6. Galatians chapter 6. Galatians chapter 6, verse 17. He said, look at it. You have to dwell on the scripture. You have to hold on to the scripture. You have to believe on the scripture and begin to apply it. Anytime the devil wants to come back with a shadow of what you used to experience. Listen to me. It is one thing to pray. It is another thing to believe on the prayers you have made. Listen to me. The devil will always come back to challenge you, to tell you that that sickness is not God, that that pain, that problem is not lifted. Listen to me. Jesus has lifted it tonight. He will always come with a shadow. He will always come with a vain talk to tell you that I don't believe you have been healed. I don't believe you have been delivered. I don't believe that you have been freed. Listen to me. The Bible says if Jesus, the Son of God, set you free, you are free indeed. That is what the scripture said. You are free Indeed. So listen to me. Don't let any power cajole you. Don't let any forces of power disturb your mentality of reasoning by faith. Listen to me. If you can change your mindset, you can get your miracle tonight. Change your mindset and reprogram your mindset and let it begin to work accordingly and in tune with the word of faith, which is the word of God tonight. Change your mindset. He said, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Look at what the scripture says concerning you right now again and again. He said, from henceforth, Galatians 6 verse 17, he said, henceforth, that is from now, from now. He's not talking about tomorrow. He's not talking about next tomorrow. He's not talking about a month or a week to come. He said, right now, right now, right now. That is the meaning of henceforth. Henceforth, he said, let no man trouble me. Let no forces trouble me. Let no principalities trouble me. Let no wickedness of the wicked fall upon me. Let no power from my father's house trouble me. He said, why? For I bear the mark of Christ in my body. I bear the marks of Christ 
on my body. Listen to my tonight, brother, sister, you have the mark on your forehead. So the devil will see you and begin to run. The witches, after applying this water by faith, the witches will see you and begin to run. The forces, the principalities and powers, they shall see you and begin to run. You will be surrendered with fire. You will be surrendered with the Holy Ghost fire. You will be surrendered. You will be surrendered. You will be surrendered. With, with, I repeat, you will be surrendered with the angels of God tonight. Hallelujah. Moshagada yagada borogada gada lebrogodo moshagada ya. I use my water here as a point of contact, yes, Pastor Lord. Faith. As you lift up your water Thank according you. to your word, oh God, let your word begin to manifest in our water right now, yes. Lord Jehovah. I speak by faith. I speak. There is no distance to miracle. Release your fire. Release your fire. Release your fire. Release your fire. Release your fire into that water of your daughter. According to her name, faith, so that water shall work for her. In the name of Jesus, I destroy every satanic yoke. I destroy every satanic embargo. I destroy every satanic bondage. I command embargoes be lifted. I command bondages be lifted from her life in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for your name. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your glory that no man will share from this water. May I not share the glory. May your daughter never share the glory. May the user of this water never take any part of the glory. May you alone take the glory. May this water become the talk of the town. Anywhere your children are living, may this water become the talk of the town. May they begin to share this testimony all over the world. May the testimony of this breakthrough tonight become, oh God, the answer to the word today. In the name of Jesus, this water, according to the word of the Lord, that God has sent for the word through this water tonight, it shall become an answer to the needs of your people, to the needs of your people. In the name of Jesus, this water shall serve an instrument. You said, oh God, to Moses, you said, stretch forth the rod in your hand. Stretch forth the rod in your hand and stretch it to the Red Sea. You, oh God, you are that same God that spoke to Joshua the same way. You spoke, oh God, to Elijah the same way. Lord, he spoke to the Jordan River and the Jordan River with his mantle divided the, the Jordan River. Even when Elisha was coming back, he applied the same principles of faith. He said, where is the God of my father, Elijah? And he used the same motto and divided the Jordan River and went through. God, you are the same yesterday, today and forever. I use this water let it become a mantle Amen. in the hands of your children. Amen. Let this water become a mantle Amen. in the hands of the user Amen. to divide every red sea, Amen. to divide every river Jordan Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. As you apply this water, any kind of issue that stands as a rock in your life, may the water of life gush out from it Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is impossible naturally for the rock to give out water because it is so hard. But when the Lord spoke, he said, strike the rock and water came out. Tonight, I strike every rock in your life. Let water, water signify life. Water signify peace. Water signify purity. Water signify love. Water signify embracement of power of love. Tonight, you will experience peace. You will experience joy. You will experience love. You will experience life. You will experience mercy. You will experience breakthrough. You will experience transformation and favor. Tonight, so shall it be. In Jesus' miraculous name, I pray. I prophesy as I decree and I declare. I command the heavens. I command the earth. To bear me witness, to bear me record tonight that this water, according to the principles and mandate of the word of God, that it shall work for you, it shall speak for you, it shall fight for you on your behalf, on behalf of your children, on behalf of your husband, on behalf of your wife, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you are the most high God. Ekwarabashagada bushagada yagada reboko shagada ya. 
Rege de borogo de yagada. I decree and I declare tonight that man that is in prison right now, according to your daughter, that I should pray for your husband tonight. As you use this water to take your bath on behalf of your husband, before December ended, he will be released. In the name of Jesus, he shall be released. No matter what he has committed, because you as the wife, you have come to this platform tonight to cry for mercy, to ask for mercy. Tonight the Lord will have mercy on your husband. The Lord will forgive your husband. He will surrender his life completely to Jesus Christ and he shall be liberated. He shall be free in the name of Jesus. May the power of freedom hit him right now. May the spirit of favor of freedom hit him right now. He shall be free from that prison in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because there shall be a performance and there shall be a testimony. Testimonies upon testimonies. People will begin to celebrate more testimonies. The testimony, the year will run away. The year will go. The year will end, but the testimony will not end in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father, for in Jesus' miraculous name, I have prayed tonight. So shall it be, it shall work for you in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. I want to take my own tonight. I don't know about you. My faith has begun. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says faith without works is dead. Thank you, Lord. Faith without works is dead. Thank you, Jesus. I have received mm. the heavenly vision again. Thank I have Jesus. received my own fire, more fire. I have received my healing, spiritual and physical healing. I have received my breakthrough. I have the mark of favor on my head now. Mm. Any office I enter, I shall be favored. Amen. I don't know about you. I have just Amen. applied my own faith. Amen. Why not apply your faith tonight? Hallelujah. I have done mine. Hallelujah. You do yours. And see the power of God being glorified. God bless you. Amen. We'll see you later. God bless you. Have a pleasant day. Uplifting day. Glorification day. Amen. And sanctified day. God bless Amen. you. And God bless you. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen.